The animals in Noah's ark went in two by two. The animals in Noah's ark went in two by two. The animals in Noah's ark went in two by two. Elephant, two by two. Even hen, two by two. And the cow, two by two. Even the dove, it flew and ended in the Noah's ark. They were two by two. Hello, my learner. This is teacher Jonathan. Welcome to EC Helimu, Learning Simplified. In our grade four science and technology, we are looking on living beings, animals, and yesterday we learned at the characteristics of these living beings. And we mentioned some of the characteristics. We said animals, they grow, they die, they feed, amongst many. And now today in our group, I want us to remind me of two animals that we mentioned yesterday. Yes, John. John has said we mentioned a dog. Another one who can remember what we mentioned yesterday? Ha! Ah, yes, Esther. A cow. Yes, these are some of animals that we mentioned yesterday. And today I want us to look at this characteristic we call reproduce. Reproduce. In other words, we say it is giving birth to, another, to a young one. This is giving birth to a young one. This is giving birth. Giving birth to a young one. And I will ask a question. In pairs, can you answer me? Do all animals give birth to young one? Do all animals give birth to a young one? In your pairs, can you kindly tell me? Jen and Victor, that is your pair, can you tell me? Ah, they have said not all animals give birth to young ones. So, if they do not give birth, what do we say? What do they do? Aha! Even animals lay eggs. So, I wonder in our groups, we tell examples of animals which lay eggs, animals which lay eggs, and other animals which give birth. There are some animals which lay eggs, and other animals, they give birth to young ones. Just an example, an example of animals which lay eggs, and other animals which give birth to young ones. As an example, just two to three in our groups, have we discussed? Good. As you discuss, remember in our previous lesson on plants, we said when you plant a seed, the seed after some time it will germinate to a young plant, it will continue to grow, it will continue to grow, and at the end it will become a big tree, even us as animals. We start from somewhere, young one, then we grow, we grow, and we become big animal. And we said examples of animals which lay eggs in our groups are, who can give us example? Yes, this group, Victor. Victor has said a frog. Frog lay, lays eggs. Frog lays eggs. Another animal which lays eggs. Yes, Jane. Jane has said hen. Hen lays eggs. Aha. Uh -huh. Victor, another animal which lays eggs. Yes, fish. Fish lays eggs. But not all animals lays eggs. Others, they give birth to young ones. Who can remind us or who can tell us an animal giving birth to young ones? Onyango. Onyango has said a cow. A cow gives birth to a young one. A cow gives birth to a young one. Wangare, Wangare, I said sheep, gives birth to a young one. And the teacher now gives us the last one, a goat will give birth to a young one. So these are examples of animals which lay eggs, animals which reproduce by giving birth to young ones. So, Question, a question, anybody with a question, 
on how animals reproduce. Remember we have said some of them will lay eggs, others will give birth to young ones. And those who lay eggs, they have to, after sometimes the eggs will have to hatch, and then after they hatch, they will hatch to a young one, then it grows to a big one. Even the animals which give birth, they give birth to a young one, and it feeds on the mother and on the food that is being given, it will grow again to a big animal. And that is how animals reproduce. In our next lesson, and an activity for us to do when you go home. An activity for us to do when you go home. An activity for us to do when you go home. Kindly write the young ones of animals that are found in our locality. At our locality, write the names of the young ones. Young one and the parent. Young one and the animal itself. Young one and the animal itself. And then bring them tomorrow for our lesson tomorrow. That marks the end of our lesson. Bye-bye.